The new Mathematicon building at Heidelberg University is the home of the Heidelberg Collaboratory for Industrial Optimization, or HCO, and its mother institution, the Interdisciplinary Center for Scientific Computing, or IWR. Scientists at the HCO work on model-based simulation and optimization, which have become technologies crucial for the development of better products and processes in industry. While the problems come from fields as diverse as the automotive industry or chemical and pharmaceutical engineering, the necessary mathematical solution methods and tools are based on the same principles. The HCO is a consortium of eight senior and junior research groups of the IWR. It has about 50 scientists with ample expertise and experience in optimization and optimal control of industrial processes in a broad sense. With this, we are a part of the technology transfer strategy of Heidelberg University. On the optimization side, HCO covers a wide range of methods, from highly nonlinear and large-scale systems, to mixed integer optimization and optimal control, and to model predictive optimal control in real time. On the process side, the expertise ranges from switched ordinary and differential algebraic equation systems to, for instance, reactive flows with partial differential equations in porous media. The success stories of HCO include a wide range of industrial partners across many domains of application and business areas. This includes aerospace engineering, air traffic control, energy optimal control of trains and heavy duty trucks, robotics and mechanical engineering in general, and power engineering in particular for the challenges of the energy transition. We also work on unsolved problems in medicine and healthcare. The chemical company BSF was so convinced about the potential of the newly developed optimum experimental design methods for differential equation models that they sponsored a whole research group at IWR with three full-time scientists for six years just to further develop the technology. BSF says that they save up to 80% of the experimental costs with these new methods and they often have unexpected results and may lead to changes in investment decisions which are worth in the million euros range. One of the most striking success stories is the collaboration with Daimler AG. We developed an extremely fast non-linear model predictive control method that can handle discrete decisions such as gears and that is within milliseconds. Heavy-duty trucks such as the Mercedes-Benz Actros are an important factor in long-distance transportation. And so Daimler developed a predictive cruise control system that minimizes energy consumption by choosing the right fuel, optimal gear and acceleration. The new mixed integer optimization techniques developed at Heidelberg allow to compute such optimal controls they were used to compute optimal strategies for various roads, traffic scenarios and trip durations. Predictive powertrain control shows fuel savings up to 5%. Daimler AG therefore brought predictive powertrain control into market with great success and thanks all members of the HCO. We are here at Heidelberg University Hospital in Motion Analysis Lab. We are monitoring here patients with neuromuscular and orthopedic disorders, both for clinical service and also for research. In the research, we are much interested in how you optimize gait by speed, by energy. This is also subject to many research projects in close collaboration with the HCO at Heidelberg University, where they're interested in exactly this math behind gait. The research at HCO also leads to widely applicable optimization software, which is a crucial venture for a university institution. We are very proud of having recently won a pioneering scientific computing sustainable software lab endowed by the Carl Zeiss Foundation. Everybody can freely download our real-time optimizer QPOASIS. It made us proud when we learned from ABB that this software package was successfully deployed in industrial reality at two gas facilities in Norway. There, QPOASIS helped to continuously re-optimize every millisecond the operation of two 42 megawatt gas compressors. The new mathematics successfully protected the compressor operation during voltage dips, for which failure can mean financial losses that range into the hundreds of millions US dollars per year. Significant savings are also realized by computer tomography scans of solid objects with methods developed in Heidelberg. 
In order to adopt a new non-destructive DT-based technique as industry standard, a quality inspection has to be fast. Our method reduces the time it takes to scan industrial objects by using few measurements only. New mathematical tools from compressive sensing allow us to aptly calibrate the sensors before deployment. Reconstruction of correct objects is guaranteed, while defective ones can be filtered out directly. In space engineering, one serious problem is that occasionally satellites are placed in the wrong initial orbit due to malfunctioning of the launcher. This initial orbit must be then determined very fast to allow for correction maneuvers. Together with the European Space Agency, we have developed a very fast, reliable and robust orbit determination method based on our multiple shooting method. This method successfully passed its practical test when two Galileo satellites were mislaunched four years ago. At IWR we organize, of course, a lot of workshops. In order to identify the really hot topics important for industry, we have successfully established the brand of so-called challenge workshops, which is now accepted as a best practice. Most recent examples are the two workshops on model-based optimization for the pharmaceutical industry and on the industrial paradigm of digital twins. The HCO, the Heidelberg Collaboratory for Industrial Optimization, brings together researchers from industry and academia to create synergies and to establish strategic research collaborations with industrial partners, which go beyond short-term individual contract, in order to master the industrial challenges of today and of the next decade.